Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Royal Instinct. Um, I am the savior of humanity. Um, I'm looking for a hundred people who are the next leaders of the world, who are kings, who want to live a better life. Um, today, we're going to be watching a video about why people are quitting YouTube and why this is probably the best opportunity that you can have to start your own YouTube channel. Um, the reason why it's important is because humanity, you know is now globally connected via the internet. We don't live on earth. We live on the internet. We only exist um, in our own countries, in our own towns, cities. You know, that's where we live. But, you know, our actual lives are on the internet. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be watching a video about why YouTube is quitting. I thought it might be interesting. A couple of months ago, I made the decision to quit. Retire. Retire. I'm taking a break. It's not clickbait. Things are changing. I am bringing them to an end. If I'm honest with you guys, don't want to do this anymore. Now it's time to take a breather. I'll be handing off the channels. Full-time filmmaker has been acquired. This era of polyphonic is over. It is the correct decision. And it's time to move on. In the last few months, and especially since the new year, each of these channels has posted some form of goodbye video. Yeah, people say that YouTube space is oversaturated. If you're the best at what you do, then it's not going to be saturated, is it? So what I suggest is for people to pick something that they enjoy doing, where they can be the authority, where people look up to them for guidance, become a subject matter expert, and once you're able to do that, um, you'll gain fame, notoriety. That's when you get the best business deals, the most so, uh, best social opportunities, the best financial opportunities, and the best dating opportunities. It's been really interesting to see, and I just want to take a few minutes to talk about it. I'll be using clips from some of them throughout the episode, so make sure to show your support by watching on their channels as well. I've left links in the description. What I and a lot of others have noticed about these goodbyes is they all have a lot in common. There are a handful of factors that each of these creators mention. Work-life balance, loss of joy and creativity, and though they might not use the word, each of them mentioned some aspect of alienation. I'm not going to say, ooh, it's all... Well, it's not just content creators that are feeling alienated. You know, loneliness is on the rise in the world. Um... Many people feel depressed. They they don't have many friends, any friends, you know, um, because we are moving to a digital space. You know, we are living online now. Um, therefore, you you have to, we have to change and adapt to the way we live. We have to be someone online, and what that means is you have to gain a following. You have to not build a brand, you know, because that that can lead to inauthenticity, right? Um, but you need to be popular, you need to, be, you need to have fame, and um, the best way to do it, where you can build self-esteem, right, is by being a subject matter expert and showing the, your value to the world. Now, I'm building my kingdom. Um, I'm looking for 100 people like myself to build their kingdoms alongside me, where we together, imagine 100 of us, all kings, you know, taking over the world, for the goodness of humanity, you know, all these other corporations, they're just going to bleed you dry, um, squeeze every last penny out of you until you own nothing. And then they're going to force feed you happiness, right? You're going to be plugged into the metaverse, right? Um, you're going to have your VR headset on, right? AI is going to take over all the jobs. You're going to be all alone in your room, playing with other people, you know, in virtual reality, whatever the fuck people do on there. And the elites are going to live, you know, prosperous, great lives um, in the real world, away from peasants, you know, the lower classes, as they say. There's no way you can take these people on. There's not going to be some sort of revolution. You know, people people don't give a fuck about their freedoms. People will, are willingly give up their freedoms, as it was seen during the craziness of 2020. People just, just gave up, you know, just bent over, you know, said, stick the needle in. Um, there was no uprising there, you know. If you suggested that there was some foul play, you were called a crazy conspiracy theorist. Um, so the elites know how far they can push people. And, you know, with uh, digital currencies coming, there's going to be no place to run or hide. 
right? The only thing that is left to do is to be someone of value, be someone that's popular, be become famous in your own right, um, build your own community alongside other virtuous people like myself. Um, and then together we can at least have a say in steering humanity into the correct um into a correct next phase of of evolution because you know the people at the top right now they don't give a shit about you they just want to bleed you dry and squeeze every last penny out of you well capitalism because there is more to it than that but it does make a lot of these problems worse as you'll see in a bit anyway i think let's start with work-life balance take a listen for as much as i love you and i love overthinking things and i love don't you just think that this guy's got some nervous energy the way he's speaking? Like, he doesn't sound relaxed. It sounds like really forceful. I mean, this was a goodbye video he made on the 9th of Jan, just a, <clears throat> about a month ago, The Game Theorist. I mean, I've never watched his channel, but like, he, he sounds depressed and unhappy. That's why I advocate for you to pick something that you are genuinely curious and passionate about, because then procrastination or you know becoming you know like this guy being being depleted of energy doesn't happen to you because you are working on your life purpose and at that moment theorizing i don't love late nights i don't love the fact that steph and i have been work first why is this guy about to fucking cry jesus for over a decade where I'm sitting down at dinner with my best friend and we're talking about business logistics. If I get that feeling, you ever have that feeling when you're like, oh, you know, I'm with family right now, but I need to get back to the office or. Yeah, that's most of humanity that that feels like that. You know, that, that, that's nothing special to just a YouTube fucking creator. It's like anyone who's got a job. It's like literally that it's all about earning money and putting food on the table. That's how the majority of humans uh humanity works right it's human civilization you need to pick something right like like your competition's giving up this is the perfect opportunity right it is this should be a wake-up call that this is the moment where you go all right you don't want to do this there's clearly an audience for it right i enjoy doing this sort of stuff jump in and take over like these people are, are crying and leaving i'm like all right cry like you know what i mean like I, I don't like seeing people in pain but at the same time you can't help you can't help people that don't want to help, right? Like, all right, take a fucking vacation for two weeks, right? Like, the outsource some of the work that you're doing if it's that bad, right? Go to sleep <laughs> earlier if you don't like late nights. Um, the next phase of humanity won't be kind, right? They're gonna squeeze. They're gonna squeeze you. They're gonna bleed you dry. Um, the only way to protect yourself is to to rise to the top, um, become a king, and be protected by your own kingdom. I should take, you know, lunch to work or whatever it is. Um, I want to stop that. I want to completely eliminate that. I can't keep this up. This is my dream job and I have a lot of fun doing it. I know I'm incredibly lucky, but a dream job is still a job. And it's a job that keeps getting bigger and more complicated. And I am so tired. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, if people want to take time off, all right, go for it. But the way they're crying about it is like, like he said, this is your dream job, but it's still a job. Humans exist to to build kingdoms, right? So that means that they're doing it in the wrong way. If they if they feel like it's work, it shouldn't be work. It should be about conquering and rising to the top, being the king that you think you are. Because you you the people the people who get what I'm talking about, they're the real leaders. Right, that they 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 were born to lead. Um, you know, me like when I was at university, I was uh, the leader of my dance group. You know, I was um, choreographer, captain. Um, I loved that role because I got to, you know, take a group of people, teach them what my vision of the future was, and then take them to a competition where where we um, had a lot of fun doing it you know i mean we really came together formed a unique bond and if i ever run those people again they're, they're still like you know got great memories of that time that, that two three year period that we were there and 
that like that's how humanity should be we should come together form communities form bonds create a legacy you know because the elites at the top that they don't want you they don't want you to be happy that they want you to be like these guys just drained full of energy and unhappy with their lives and depressed there's nothing in my life right now except work but in reality it just put me in a your life shouldn't be work it should be you expanding your kingdom all right so so that they're, they're doing it the wrong way they're like oh i'm gonna do this and make a bunch of money it's not about money is a byproduct of who you are okay it's about unleashing who you are inside right like everyone when you when you're born as a toddler you think you're the most important person in the world then you grow up and you realize that you know that's not how the world works and the world imposes its will on you and it quashes that self-belief that you have which is why people are depressed depression you know if you break down the word is depress right so it's pressing down who you are right expression is your expressing who you are okay we need to get back to um expressing who we are what our thoughts are what our core values are and that's why i, I champion um becoming a subject matter expert because at least you're not expressing bullshit at that point right there's many youtubers out there there's many um politicians content creators whatever you want to call them that are just expressing bullshit you know people are only fans <clears throat> Just, all right, look, man, like, like everyone likes, I like a pair of tits, I like hot women. But, like, do you really need to subscribe, watch a bunch of, you know, <laughs> CD pictures, you know, of women um, shaking their asses, shaking their tits, right? It's, you know, it's not going to progress your life. It's not going to progress humanity. It's like, literally, these OnlyFans girls are just squeezing you for your money. And we need to take back control. We need to phase in the next phase of human uh of human civilization which is you know which is what the people in charge right now don't have that interest for you right there's people watching this right that that have great ideas they just don't know how to impose it onto onto the world how to express this that's that's where i come in that's who i help and that's my um vision for this channel is to people who have the royal instinct like me Right, we'll work side along me. We'll um, conquer alongside me. Become my best friends, and you know, people say that it's lonely at the top. But when you're at the top with other kings, it's just a party, and that's what we will be achieving. Constant state of stress and work, and now I'm always at work. My home is work. A vacation should become a vlog. Every TV show I watch and song I hear should be turned into some sort of content like i shouldn't be relaxing right now i should be making content and it just isn't possible for me to turn this idea of making content it, like <clears throat> I, 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 all you gotta do is is live your life as you would right and then occasionally just switch on the camera and just speak into it what you can't do that for 20 minutes like, like how like like the way that people they these people make it sound is like they're making shooting some sort of fucking feature film right like they're quentin tarantino you know christopher nolan you know shooting this epic with hans zimmerman playing in the fucking background some dramatic music it's like that like, no it's like literally like you're just telling the world who you are because that's what the reason they're being burnt out is because they're not being authentic okay and there's the gap in the market for you is like if you come into this game and you're authentic you'll have more than a fighting chance it literally is the only winning chance left in today's society you know we all know ai is coming right if you if you go into fucking um you know, open ai and use one of those what programs like um da vinci or whatever it is and then there's a new one that, that basically makes th th these little videos of dogs playing in the snow, which was created by AI, AI. It's so realistic. It's like, okay, like you can't even trust your eyes anymore at this point, right? Which is why we need, me and you need to step in and be like, all right, look, these are who we, this is who we are, right? This is our mission. We're going to build a kingdom where AI won't rule. It's like, we'll be able to trust people. It's like communities where you can, there's loyalty and honor and you can trust people. I've had many times uh, in, in in my life where, where when I because I was young, I failed to do that, and I, I really paid the price by losing some of the best friends I've ever had. And you know, 
those lessons make you stronger. It's like, and I don't wish for anyone to go through that period. What 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 happened to me? It's like you know, like you 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 know you make a mistake and you you end up burning a friendship. It's like you know, I, I learned the hard way to now wanting to build a community where you know those things are sacred. You know, not <clears throat> you always knew it was sacred, but it's like no one ever was there to support you uh, in, in, in those early years. And, you know, the only way to do this in today's society is by becoming famous, right? And, and being someone of value where people look up to you. And if you also think like this, that you want to be someone, that you want to be a king, um, you know, you'll be building your kingdom alongside me and together we will rule. And that mindset off and I realized this is not how I want to live any longer. I don't get any satisfaction from the type of work that I do here anymore. And, and if you work seven days a week... Probably seen that old image from when people were fighting for an eight-hour workday. Eight hours for work, eight hours for rest, eight hours for what we will. That sounds pretty nice. Yeah, that doesn't exist anymore. It's like, you know, people, people are being squeezed so hard. Um, People being squeezed so hard that they have to take on extra work. That they, you know, your competition is 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 trying to outwork you. So instead of doing eight hours, now you have to do twelve hours. And the thing is, like the next phase is AI can work twenty four seven, right? Humans need to sleep, so already humans will fail because you know even if you were to only sleep five hours every day, four hours every day, right? the amount of work ai can do in this those four hours right over a hundred days right is 400 hours so you, you're now 400 hours behind right you will never catch up with ai it's, it, it is literally impossible these days eight hours of work just doesn't really cut it for most people and believe it or not that goes for youtubers too and we'll get to that in a sec a growing number of Americans work more than one job, and some 400,000 work two full-time jobs just to make ends meet. Everything from housing to groceries to utilities is getting more. Yeah, there's an engineered cost of living crisis, you know. Um, governments have turned away from nuclear power. Governments have turned away from, you know, coal energy, um, gas energy. They want everything to be electrical. <clears throat> um, but the cost of that makes everything expensive. You know, and mo and and the shift, you know, the, the cost is being passed on to consumers, which is why a lot of people are struggling. You know, and then, you know, the nuclear family's gone. So instead of where we, where we got to a point where you know a, a mum and dad, a husband and wife could afford to run a household, it's like that's not even possible because, <clears throat> you know, there are elements in play that are breaking up traditional, you know marriages to traditional family values so now now people are just single and then they can't afford to even leave their houses which is why loneliness is on the rise more expensive and the only thing that's not going up is wages you've heard it before but if the minimum wage had just kept up with inflation and productivity gains since the reagan years it'd be over 24 dollars an hour today just just to let you know um ai doesn't even take minimum wage ai works for zero but here in the richest country on earth, the federal minimum wage is still $7.25 an hour. In a couple of years, people are going to be squeezed so hard that they wish they could get $7 an hour. It's hard to have a decent work-life balance when the hours you work don't earn you enough money, so you have to take on more work. YouTube is similar, but there's an added layer of complexity. Caleb makes a point in his video that I think a lot of people don't realize about YouTube as a career. Your input doesn't necessarily equal your output. <clears throat> that is true. Um, the amount of work it takes in the beginning to build a platform for yourself um, is still the same amount of actual work as you would have after, right? But the results come slower. That's why even if you are not a subject matter expert today, you can start posting content about your progress every day and as you're progressing, as you're getting better, people recognize, oh, this guy's leveling up. Now they're cheering for you. It's like, it's like it would be like watching, you know, when a rookie comes into the NBA, right? Like he's, he's got 
you know, he, he, they say he's got talent and you're watching him and you're watching him. And as he's progressing into like a world champion athlete, yeah, you'll be like, oh, I remember watching him when he first came in and he, you know, he had that little bit of spark about him. And now he's, you know, this world-class athlete. You know, people will have a bond to you. They'll be connected to you. Um, and that's why you have lifelong fans. Um, there you will, you'll be building your own legacy as you're learning, as you're progressing, doing something that you love. You can put a ton of work into a video and make way less money than you did with a half-assed video. That's very different from other jobs. Exploit. Yeah, but AI can do it. That They can make a quality video and the way AI works is half-assing it because it, it, it's zero effort for AI. There's no energy expenditure, right? Exploitation aside, yes, obviously everyone should be making more money. But in general, with traditional work, if you put in more hours, you're financially rewarded for that. If you're in sales and you put in an extra 10 hours a week, you sell a couple more cars, you make more money. If you do hourly work, add a few hours to your schedule, you make more money. If you work freelance and you take on another gig, you make more money. On YouTube, you could add 30 hours a week and not see a cent in extra income. <clears throat> in the beginning, when you're not making any money off your YouTube videos, or of your content, it won't matter to you because you're enjoying what you're doing. You're learning and you know what you're building. So that there has to be, you know, a foundation for your growth of your kingdom. And um, if you if you have that enthusiasm for your work, it won't matter if you're getting paid or not. The rewards will come, right? Um, you know, six months, 12 months, 18 months, you know, you'll be living like a king. In fact, you could see the complete opposite and have your revenue tank for what seems like no reason at all. So it's not surprising that just about every YouTuber says they have a bad work-life balance. You're constantly worried that if you don't feed the algorithm, you won't be able to pay the bills. This is one of the core features of capitalism. You work or you starve. And on YouTube, sometimes you work and you still starve. That uncertainty is draining in a way that is difficult for a lot of people. Okay. Like, I, I get the point he's making, but why are all these YouTubers going to fucking do now? Uh, like, <laughs> they, they, they're going to move into like a corporate job? All right, like, you know, I used to be a YouTuber. Let me now go be a psychiatrist. Like, th they're still going to need social media, still going to be content creators to market the next business venture that they have. ...to understand. But the money aspect is only part of the work-life balance thing. When the, next, the next phase, right, the next 5, 10, 20 years... Right. If you're not making content, right, you're going to be phased out. Simple as. You're a YouTuber. You have work at your fingertips 24 7. Much like Ken's job is just beach, my job is just phone. YouTube is right here all the time in my pocket. I'll just have a quick peek. Just one, just one little peek. I swear, one more peek. Just, just one look. It becomes all consuming. You can't escape. It gets Let's so bad. Let's forward it. Let's yeah. forward it. But after a certain point, um, you kind of develop things you enjoy and things you don't enjoy about something. And when it comes to making... And then when the things that you don't enjoy, you outsource. In a video, if that's a house, you look at your next video that you need to do because it's your job and you don't want to pour another foundation. You don't want to frame out the whole house. You can see all of the work ahead of you and you just don't want to do it. Throw in all that other fun stuff we already talked about and you have kind of this mess. And so that's where I'm kind of at or have been at. I feel like everything online is slowly converging towards the boring, bland, gray middle point. <clears throat> I mean, his whole attitude is fucking boring and bland. I mean, like, like, are you interested in listening to this guy? Like, just as soon as he opens his mouth. And this is your competition, guys, right? Like, you can outwork this person and make more money than him. Where everyone just tries to maximize retention, use, and this metric and that statistic, which just leads see, everyone. <clears throat> see, see, they're trying to capture like a mass audience, right? That's the wrong way to go about it, okay? Those metrics you can't worry about, okay? You need to work on who you are, build up yourself authentically, right? And people, the people that resonate with your message will come to you, right? For example, um, think of uh, McDonald's. Everyone likes McDonald's, but it's unhealthy, okay? Right? Like a gourmet restaurant, right? Only the people that can afford it will come, okay? Only people who seek 
right who have the acquired taste for what you have right like like caviar not like caviar rich people would say that eat caviar right but not many people like caviar um they you need to be an acquired taste that people come to seek out but like, oh, i do want to fucking love what this guy's got to offer right instead of oh, i better you know jump on the youtube algorithm it's like it's like no like fuck the algorithm right like if you're a king and you're building a kingdom the algorithm doesn't apply to you okay people will come seek you out no matter you know you know that, that sneaker got kicked off youtube and he's still making it money do you know what i mean like he, he moved over to rumble and because he was building his kingdom um you know even though he's faking it right like people think of him as a king right but you can dethrone him right but the when he moved over to rumble people still followed him to like the same end product and it's become beyond saturated for me and my own creativity i just don't enjoy where this is going so he just can't keep up right that's your competition creativity and homogenization this is another challenge under capitalism we are all unwilling subjects of the profit motive youtube is an inherently creative job you're producing or AI will outcreate you. Or content, or entertainment, or whatever you want to call it. But your base consideration has to be financial stability. There's a reason most YouTubers don't do it full time. And those that do have to supplement their income with Patreon. Link below, please. <laughs> Jesus, could you feel the nervous energy? Desperation. Link below, please. <laughs> Love of God. Love of God. Just like, can you just hear it? You can hear it in his voice. Hang on or content, or entertainment, or whatever you want to call it, but your base consideration has to be financial stability. There's a reason most YouTubers don't do it full-time, and those that do have to supplement their income with Patreon, link below, please, <laughs> love of Jesus God, link Christ. below, or sponsorships, or selling LUT packs, or... Love of God, like... You should never be in a position where you are reliant on making content to be your main money, right? Like... <clears throat> people becoming a subject matter expert people will be throwing money at you to gain your expertise the reason why these people don't enjoy what they're doing um because they're just making content for content's sake if you were hang on if you were an expert at something people will seek you out and they'll just ask your opinion right and then you can charge a fee for it right these people aren't experts at what they're doing. They don't love what they're doing, which is why they realize that they're shit and they want to quit, right? You, on the other hand, will take on this journey of becoming a subject matter expert and you will win where these people are failing, right? You will become an important person. You'll become someone with fame, someone with a following, um, you'll never ever be rich. You'll join the elites and you'll have the best friends and the best dating life, you know, and you'll be, truly be happy. For online classes. When you're doing YouTube as a side project, you can afford to make the videos you want. But when this is your full time gig, like it is for people making these goodbye videos, your art has to take a back seat to putting food on the table. That's a tough pill to swallow for. <sighs> see, see, see that, that's where you went wrong. He just said, uh, your art. Um, now, if you want to be a expert on art, right? Web art it is filmmaking, um, painting, you know, digital art, whatever it is. If you're an expert in that field, right, and you're only gonna become an expert if you enjoy it, right? Like, it will never become difficult for you. D these people, I mean, th th they need to join my mentorship program. <laughs> um, ASAP, you know, I could really help these people. People who are genuinely invested in creating artistic or thoughtful things for their audience to enjoy. No one starts out making money on YouTube. It is always first a labor of love. But as soon as your channel gets verified, the calculus changes. Now you have to figure out, okay, do I want to keep this as a side project or... Do you want know this whole video just sounds like, like, please, sir, can I have some money? Like... Well, make good videos, make good content, right? 
like offer some good value and and you won't have these problems you know th- 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 this whole video is like a pity party for <laughs> for content creators oh look we made a lot of money in like the last five ten years but you know now it's getting really hard it's like can we you know we can't really outwork ai anymore are you willing to help us it's like i don't know man it's it's, it's the whole thing just seems it seems a bit sleazy to me do I want to build this into something that can pay the bills? And even if you decide on the former, sometimes your channel will grow and become financially stable anyway. And then it's really hard to turn down leaving your dead-end job to focus more on the work you enjoy, which then becomes a job, which then requires you to play by the rules of the YouTube game to continue growing. Yeah, it's, 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 they've lost their heads, these people. They, they, they don't see the privileged position that they're in, first of all. They don't see the opportunity that they have. They've built fame. It's like now, now all you gotta do is just like, like just that, that next step. Build your kingdom. You know, become super famous. Build alliances. It's it's like like they're just like oh, I'm just gonna make these videos and then my life will just turn out great. It's like no, it's like you know, you you have to you have to find the people who are willing to listen to you because of they admire they are interested in your expertise. Make them your followers help improve their lives and then they go out in the world and then sing your praises for you right and then because you're rising to the top because you you yourself become an elite you know everyone wants to then come seek you out they want to be your friend be your business partner give you money for your advice you know and then beautiful women will see this and be like oh i want to date a man like that do you know what i mean like the game is so easy is that these people are just you know I, I'm not gonna listen to them anymore because they um I think I, I think they're kind of spoiled I think, I think I think they're just they've lost their heads they're not seeing the opportunity they don't see what's coming right but if they don't carry on if they don't improve their business strategies they're gonna get squeezed by the elites right because because I'm sure that they've built expensive um lifestyles for themselves as well right because that's why they're making these videos. It's like, oh, I can't survive properly. Oh, I'm not making enough money because I'm spending, you know, like a hundred thousand pounds on Uber Eats because oh, I need, I can't cook because I need creative, I need time to for my creative ideas, which aren't making money on YouTube anymore. It's like it's, it's a whole shit spiral that they're in. I don't want this for you. I want you to find what you're passionate about, what interests you, become a subject matter expert, and then. I will help you build your kingdom alongside mine and together we'll rule, we'll become best friends, we'll conquer the whole humanity, the whole world and um, we'll be rich as fuck partying up in a mega mansions. But until next time, this is Royal Instinct.